All right, so what is up guys? In this tutorial, I'm gonna be going over how to use Lambda expressions and what they are in Kotlin. So to keep things simple, a Lambda expression is essentially an anonymous function. And let's just get started immediately by creating an example so you can see what I mean by that. So inside here, we are going to create a value called greeting and that is going to equal a block. And inside this block, we will add the print line statement and we'll give this greeting a hello mate as always. Now to use this, all we have to do is type in greeting and add the parentheses at the end. And that will have created this function over here. So as you can see, this print line statement is the anonymous function and we assign this function to the value of greeting. So it's just a way of using a function without actually having to create a whole function. And if we go ahead and click on run, you'll see that it has been executed just like a normal function. Now, let's move on to example number two. So we will just uh, add example one here. Then we can go down to example two. And in here, we will type in value sum. And that's going to equal a lambda expressions. But this time, we are going to include a few parameters. So we are going to write a, which is going to be of type int. And we are also going to write b, which is also going to be of type int. And we are going to use those parameters for this expression, and it's going to be a plus b. So what we did here is create a function that takes these two parameters, and it outputs the sum of those two. And then if we write value result, and the result will be the sum of 5 and 10, then we can just print line the result. And when we click on play, you will see that it has returned the answer of 15. So that's another cool thing you can do with Lambda expressions is, of course, take parameters and use them in an expression. But uh, let's continue with one final example. So the first thing we are going to do is create a data class at the top named cats. And it's going to take a value of name, which is going to be of type string and a value of age, which is going to be of type int. Then right below, we are going to create a list. So we're going to write value cats equals list of, and I'm just going to copy and paste in my previous list because it's a lot to write. So inside the parentheses, we want to create a list of cats with names and the age. So the first cat is Tom with an age of five, then we got Patrick with an age of 10 and so on. Now let's pretend we want to find the oldest cat in the list? Well, we can use a Lambda expression for this. So let's get started by creating a value of oldest cat. That's going to equal cats dot max by, and then it will provide us this block, which requires us to insert a Lambda expression. So what we will do is type in cats, and right after we will type in cats dot age. And then of course we need to add the print line statement. So inside here we will write oldest cat is the oldest cat. And when we click on run, you will see that it will pick up Giovanni and the age of 13. And this will appear at the top because I added this expression at the top. So here it says cats and name Giovanni age of 13 is the oldest cat. Now, of course, if you just want to get the name or anything like that, we can just highlight oldest cat, add a block and we'll write oldest cat dot name and it will require this to be nullable. So if we click on play, it should just say Giovanni is the oldest cat. And as you can see, we outputted Giovanni is the oldest cat. And there's actually another way to simplify this. And as you can see, we only have one parameter here that says cats. So Kotlin is quite smart about this and it can infer that, that there's only one type here and that it is pointing to cats. So what we can do is remove these two cats and replace it with the it keyword. So this just takes what we're working with and inserts it there. But this video is not going to be concentrating on it. I believe I'll make one more video that will concentrate on it. But for now, you just need to know that this points to the cats class and that you can use it in most cases that you only have one parameter to be inserted for your Lambda expression. But with that being said, that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next Kotlin tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you.